Let's take a look at this problem taken from the IMO 2010. It says find all functions f that maps the set of real numbers to itself such that for all real numbers x and y, f of the floor function of x times y equals f of x times the floor function of f of y. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This problem is a very standard um, functional equations problem and can be done by simply putting uh, some appropriate values into x and y. So the first step that I'm going to take is to put both x and y to be 0. Then maybe I should say when x and y equal to 0, then f of floor function of 0 times 0 equals f of 0 times the floor function of f of 0. Left hand side is clearly f of 0 because the things inside is simply 0, right? If you multiply something by 0, then it's 0. So equals f of 0 times the floor function of f of 0. Now that it, we have a common factor of f of 0 on both sides. So you can take out f of 0 and this multiply by the floor function of f 0 minus 1 equal to 0. So f of 0 is either 0 or its floor function of it equals to 1. Now I'm going to divide into two cases. The first one is that if we have this thing to be 1, then I can simply put y equals 0. Then left hand side is exactly 0 again because when this is 0, whatever x, the value of x is, what it, when this is multiplied by 0, then you will get 0 inside the f. Then equals f of x times the floor function of f of 0. Now, from our assumption, we have this to be 1. So f of x is exactly f of 0. Some constant that has floor, um, that has an integral part to be 1. Then I would say that, therefore, one solution is f of x equals some constant c, such that c is between 1 and 2. So that's the first case. Now we move on to the second case. If f of 0 is itself, then we can try to put some other values into x and y, say 1. We haven't even tried that, we, uh, we have only tried 0. So when x and y are both 1, then f of floor function of 1 times 1 equals f of 1 times the floor function of f of 1. Um, the effect is similar to um, the, the case when we put x and y to be both 0. f of 1 equals f of 1 times the floor function of f of 1. Again, with a common factor of f of 1. So, take it out. And so, f of 1 is either 0 or its integral part is 1. Now, we move into the two subcases. The first subcase is that if f of 1 equals 0, then we can just put x to be 1. So f of y equals f of 1 times the floor function of f of y. Now regardless of the value of y, this is 0. So f of y is simply 0. Another solution. And the second subcase is that if the floor function of f of 1 is 1, then I'm going to put y equals 1. So I can create some other form of floor function of f of 1, which is here. Then f of floor function of x is equal to f of x times the floor function of f of 1. 
and so f of x is equal to f of the floor function of x. Now this is a very important result because uh, no matter what value of x we have, I can just move it to uh, its floor function so I can get some um, f of some integer expression in the form f of some integer. Now afterwards, I'm going to put x equals to 2 and y equals to a half. So f of the floor function of 2 times a half equals f of 2 times the floor function of f of a half. Left hand side is quickly can be uh, can be quickly uh, found to be f of 1 equals f of 2 times f of 0. Now here's the question. Why can we achieve that? This is because of the result that we've just labeled. Is that the floor the integral part of a half is exactly zero. So f of a half is equal to f of zero. And we know that under this um, back case, we call that f of 0 is actually 0. So f of 1 equals 0. But this contradicts this, the fact that we have assumed at the same time the floor function of f of 1 is equal to 1. So we have a contradiction here. So we have finished dealing with all the subcases and we have found two solutions. The first one is that f of x equals to some constant and the second subcase is f of x equal to 0 and you can check both of them so left hand side is at this point is c equals to c times the floor function of c which is uh, c times 1 so it's correct and for the second uh, solution, we have 0 equals 0 times floor function of 0, which is obviously true. So these two functions are our solutions. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.